now the next circuit that we'll see is simple reciprocating double acting cylinder so here in the double acting cylinder we need a double acting cylinder so here it is a symbol for double acting cylinder here two ports should be there uh, as here two ports are there so we need at least four ports in the dcv so we have a, we are drawing here a 4 by 2 direction control wall here 4 uh, 2 squares means two positions are there and four ports so here we will we have to draw the internal construction of direction control wall so here four ports are there 1 2 3 4 and here also 1 2 3 4 4 ports are there uh, then here the power pack we have to draw the pump should be there then one tank should be there here pressure relief wall and tank okay, and then after that it is a pilot signal and this is a normally closed type of pressure relief wall and here connection okay so this is this is the power pack and this is now tank now uh, here we have to connect this one port to here in this line and the second port we have to connect here okay so this is your uh, simple reciprocating double acting cylinder circuit uh, so here when the DCV is in first position let us call this position as the first position and this position as second position when DCV is in first position uh, the fluid from the pump goes to line A this is line A this is line B fluid from the pump goes to line A and line A is connected to the piston end of the cylinder piston starts moving in forward direction at the same time the return fluid from this rod side of the cylinder goes to the tank through this line B and DCV okay unless and until this return fluid goes to the tank the piston cannot move in forward direction when piston reaches the extreme position for example here the piston reaches the extreme position here so when piston reaches the extreme position here in this line the pressure will get increased in line A pressure will get increased because here there is no requirement of the fluid and your pump is continuously supplying the fluid so in this line the pressure will get increased now as the pressure will get increased here this relief wall will sense the pressure here this is nothing but a pilot signal to the relief wall so this relief wall will sense the pressure in this line and as the pressure will get increased this relief wall will open and the fluid from the pump directly goes to the tank through this relief wall so it is the first uh, position of the, the direction control wall now when DCV is in second position in this position so here this pressure line this is your tank line this is your line A and this is your line B so your pressure line or pump line is connected to line B and line B is here so as the pump line is connected to line B the fluid from the pump goes through this line B and enters to the rod end of the cylinder piston retracts ok so when DCV was in first position piston is moving in forward direction now when DCV is in second position piston is moving in reverse direction or piston is retracting so uh, as piston is uh, moving in return direction the return fluid or retract direction the return fluid from this piston side of the cylinder uh, comes to this line A and line A is connected to the tank so return fluid from this piston end of the cylinder goes to the tank through this line A and uh, direction control wall ok so when DCV is in first position piston starts moving in forward direction when DCV is in second position piston retracts in this way the uh, double acting cylinder will work and uh, here you have to place uh, push button operated or solenoid operated any any anything you have to place here ok so I am placing here both the side push button operated so any symbol you can push uh, place here so here push button operated and direction control wall I am uh, using this thank you